Hello students, welcome to Extreme Telugu. In this video, we are discussing 10th class physics lesson number 1 that is reflection of light at curved surfaces. Today, we are going to be focusing on a topic called as mirror formula and its sign conventions. This is a very important topic as far as 10th class examinations are concerned. The mirror formula gives us an idea about how exactly we can calculate the focal length when object distance and image distance are known to us or we can calculate the image distance when focal length and object distances are known to us or we can calculate object distance when focal length and image distances are known to us. Let us understand what is the meaning of this. The formula is 1 by f is equals to 1 by v plus 1 by u. What is the meaning of f, v and u? The meaning of f is f stands for focal length that is the distance between pole and focus is called as focal length v stands for image distance that is the distance between pole and image is called as image distance u stands for object distance that is the distance between pole and object let us try to understand what is the meaning of these three terms using this picture. Let us consider a concave mirror. In this concave mirror, the optical center is called as pole. Somewhere here, we will be having focus. Somewhere here, we will be having center of curvature such that the distance between pole and focus is equal to the distance between focus and center of curvature. If I am keeping an object here, somewhere here I will be getting the image. Now, this distance between pole and object is called as object distance u. This distance between pole and image pole and image this distance is called as image distance v and finally the distance between pole and focus is called as focal length f now if v and u are given we can find f using the formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u if f is given to us and u is given to us and we are asked to find the value of v, v is equal to how much? Then, then we can calculate the value of v by taking this plus 1 by u onto the other side. That is nothing but 1 by v, 1 by v is equal to 1 by f, this plus 1 by u goes to the other side and becomes minus 1 by u. So, 1 by f minus 1 by u. Using this formula, we can calculate v. Now, if u is to be found, what is the value of u when f and v are given to us? Far simple. Earlier, we took 1 plus 1 by u plus 1 by u onto the other side. Now, we have to take 1 by v onto the other side. So, 1 by u is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by v. So, using these three formulas, we can calculate the value of f or v or u depending upon the requirement. Now, while calculating f or v or u, when we have to consider their values to be positive, when we have to consider their values to be negative, let us try to understand. For this, we have to take the help of sign conventions. The sign conventions are, the very first rule is, 
all the distances are measured with respect to pole whether it is focal length or object distance or image distance or radius of curvature whatever may be the distance the distance measured should be starting from the pole so we should not end up our journey at the pole rather we should start our journey from the pole to measure any distance so here all the distances that are to be measured are started from the pole point number 1 that is whether focal length or image distance or object distance if pole is there means from pole only you have to start from pole only you have to start and end up at the various points this is point number 1 point number 2 what are positive distances if you are traveling in this direction and light is traveling in the same direction if you are measuring the distances that is pole is on the left side and we are measuring the distances on the right side and light is also traveling in the same direction then such like such distances are considered to be positive that is the distances that are measured in the same direction of light are considered to be positive negative distances if you are measuring the distances from left to right and light is traveling from right to left this is distance and this is light if distance and light that traveling in opposite direction or if the distances is which are measured are in opposite direction to the direction of light then the distances are con considered to be negative i repeat the distances that are measured in the direction of light are considered to be positive the distances that are measured in the opposite direction of light are considered to be negative now positive heights and negative heights the heights which are measured above the principal axis the heights that are measured above the principal axis are considered to be positive the heights that are measured below the principal axis the heights that are measured below the principal axis are considered to be negative i repeat all the distances are measured to be are measured from the pole the distances that are measured in the same direction of light are considered to be positive the distances which are considered in the opposite direction of light are considered to be negative the heights above the principal axis are considered to be positive the heights below the principal axis are considered to be negative using this positive and negative signs only we can have this formula used to solve our problems there are number of problems in this chapter which require the knowledge of mirror formula and sign conventions hope you understood this video if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel extreme telugu thank you